Howdy ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today, along with my dad. Say hey, dad. Howdy. Hey, we're down here at my dad's uh, workshop, and he has several large power tools and a big vacuum system uh, to vacuum all the sawdust up when he uses them. And what he has de developed here is a plenum system that we want to show you today. I thought it would make a good video. So stay tuned, and we'll check this thing out. Okay. I bought this vacuum system here uh, about a, two or three months ago, a couple months ago, and to, to vacuum up the sawdust, I got three or four different tools that require dust collection. And I was using it, and I was running hoses all over everywhere, trying to, trying to get to all of my tools. And I got tired of tripping all over them, so I decided I would uh, devise some kind of system where I could get these hoses up off the floor and, 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 and get uh, uh, where I won't trip all over. I'm getting old, so I don't want to be falling high. <laughs> so here's, here's what we got right here. Uh, I built this plenum box. Now, the plenum box is about eight or 10 inches deep, uh, just wide enough to make these hoses in here. And inside is, is melamine. Now, outside is melamine too, but I painted it. Uh, uh, the rest of the uh, colors like the rest of it. And each one of them has got a blast gate. Uh, this year is for future use. This year is from a table saw. This is from a, a router. And, and of course, this is from a thickness planer. I've got one hose now I have to worry about tripping over. It goes to the, uh, to the dust collector. And after I built it, I was just going to put this on there, and I thought, why not use, I said, uh, if I put a table out here for my saw, I won't be able to get to it. So I built it where I can put this table on it. And this table uh, hooks to the saw, and it gives me an extension. Very good idea to do that, and, and I can still get to everything here. Okay, now, these are the tools I was telling you about. Uh, of course, I got my table saw right here. I got my uh, uh, router there, and I got a thickness planer over here. Now that thickness planer puts out a whole lot of stuff when you use it. Now I got a hose right over here. I can disconnect this, wrap that around, and get about four or five more foot to get over there. About four foot to get over that way where I can use it better. I leave it hooked up here if I just got a little piece to do. Okay. Uh, and as you can see, here's the tube going to the uh, router. It goes all the way over to the uh, blast yeah. gate for it. And the router sits in the t top of the tabletop. Yep. And when it come, my, my table had this wood thing, and I thought, my God, I'm going to use that for a router top. Right. But anyhow, I built that and put two coats of urethane on this and then waxed it. And it gives you a very good finish. And should we demonstrate it for him? Well, if you want me to. Yeah, let's do that. All right, I'm just gonna cut a little sliver off this because I don't want to waste much of my wood, okay. just enough to generate. Uh, and I got a switch over here. I can control the dust uh, collector right here. You'll hear it come on. <laughs> As I said, I have one open uh, blast gate here. It can come through here, and I'm gonna hook this up to it. It's a, it's a planer joiner, and it's got a uh, dust collector down there for it. And that too makes a lot of, uh, of, of dust and uh, debris. Okay. So that'll be what the uh, extra port's for whenever you need it. You'll hook the hose up to it and use that. That's correct. Cool. And, and I also have an extra uh, port here that's capped off right now. But if I want to move something over here, I can just run another hose. I have other hoses, right? and uh, I just hadn't hooked them up yet. Yep, cool. Let's talk a little bit about um, what, is, what it takes to build one of these, Dad. So basically you build everything out of melamine? 
Like well, I had melamine on hand. Okay. This is melamine. Yeah, which this is this whole good. box is made out of melamine. Exactly. It's which... four sided and it's about uh, thirty six inches long. Cool. And I noticed that you put an angle down here on the bottom for, for the main collector. That's, that's so so kinda... that it will shoot that dust or the, <clears throat> the chips dust. down in the bottom and suck uh, towards the suction uh, cup. Cool. Now, guys, another good reason for using melamine, uh, it's got a real slick finish on it. So the inside of this uh, plenum has a nice slick finish, so it just helps to keep from uh, any type of sawdust building up in there. Yeah. Which I don't think you're going to have a problem with, because this thing sucks, what, 1,550 CFM? 1,550 CFMs. Which is quite a bit. It definitely moves the sawdust out of there. Now these blast gates, uh, how much do these things cost? Well, they'll run anywhere from three dollars a piece to uh, ten dollars a piece, depending on where you get them. I've okay, seen cool. I've seen some of them for ten dollars a piece, same thing as these. Yeah. These are three dollars a piece. I got these at Harbor Freight. Okay. But you can get them on Amazon for uh, about four dollars. I paid three dollars for these, awesome. two ninety nine. Uh, but you can get them from that uh, Harbor Freight, or you can go go to Amazon. And uh, they carry the same ones. They carry uh, the ones that you'll need. Okay. Guys, I'll put some links down below for some of this equipment if you yeah. decide you want to build one of these yourself. Now, the rest of this stuff is made out of plywood. It's a three-quarter inch plywood, a yep. good cabinet grade of plywood. Uh, it, took, it took about a half a sheet uh, to make it. I uh, got a back piece, uh, then I... Then I dadoed it in and, and put a back piece it's three sides and, uh, and then I screwed it to the saw and then to make sure it didn't slip this angle iron right here I moved over and and drilled a uh, hole in it and it goes into a two before below so that it's got to pull through this it can't come off this way no matter right. how much load you got on it cool but uh Tell them how you put the slick finish on the top of here. Okay, I put two coats of uh, a good urethane on it, let it dry, sanded it down, and put a coat of wax on it. Coat of wax. That done the trick, guys. This thing is slick. You don't have to worry about anything grabbing on this as you're sliding it across there. And, those, and he did dado the uh, center of this so that this... Uh, What's this when you do cross but, cuts? Yeah, it's just the guide. You, you, the guide, guide for the cross but, cuts uh, runs right into there. But it, it, if you don't have it, it, it will it will bottom out right there if you don't have that slot. As you can see, if it's a thick piece, it won't get it cut. Right. But uh, I have some uh, a cross cut sled up here that's got a. Uh, it 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 would it'll be all the way down to here when it gets through. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys, I think that pretty much wraps it up for today. Uh, hopefully you will find this video helpful if you decide to build one of these yourself. Uh, just a little bit of work, not a whole lot of materials. And thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You got one more thing to say? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, another thing important. I put uh, uh, screws, uh, uh, into here and this is screwed down with uh, threaded inserts so I can take this top off anytime I want to to get down in that uh, uh, box to unhook the saw hose or, or do what I got to do in there yeah. and then put it right back on because like I said it's threaded and you can't mess it up cool awesome that's good makes it worse serviceable in case there was something large piece of wood or something got in there you had to get in there and work on it right but anyway, have a great day. Say bye, Dad, to the good people. Bye. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.